know, he's <laughs> he's he's no like he's no like you know sugar pop like uh I, I mean I don't know like he he's not like a tool of like the music industry like you know he started right. off as like a, a genuine like yeah. independent musician doing his thing he want to make money. I mean, it's like yeah. he, his band just got really popular, and like you can yeah. hate on Sugar Ray all you want. Yeah, who cares? It's like, dude, they wrote some good songs. What can you say? That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Let's play Decent Criminal. What's this song called? Uh, it's called Reap. Reap. All right, here we go. Oh, no, Bizarre. My bad. Bizarre. Okay, Bizarre. Okay. How Bizarre. How Bizarre. How Bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> That is... Both our bands are fucking sick. <laughs> That's pretty you cool. You can't swear on my show. Just kidding. <laughs> the, what's cool about that video is they found a really unique way to shoot a music video with a bunch of different people during COVID. Yeah. And yeah. I, I, I thought cool. it was really great. Yeah. Very okay. Cool. Last thing I want to touch subject on. That's why we have Andy Pole instead of all these different things or instead of like one thing. Because I kind of want to talk about different things. I know the band's not here. But is there any uh, anything new with Tsunami Bomb at all? Uh, well, during the pandemic, during like you know everyone being locked in, uh, the band managed to do some work. Um, we did record a couple of cover songs that cool. got released. Um, well, one of them is being released soon. I can't really divulge too much information about that, right. but. Um, one that we did release was a cover of a uh, Daryl Hall and John Oates song called Out of Touch. Okay. Yeah. Dude, I love that song. Yeah, so that was a fun project. We did that. Um, and then, yeah, we, we, we recorded another one that hopefully is going to be announced here in the next few months. Uh, but it's it's there's just some other st- details being worked out about it. Yeah. Um, but on top of that, you know, we, we've been working on demoing a bunch of songs for an upcoming album. Uh, we don't specifically know yet uh, about any kind of specific time frames, but uh, ideally what we will do is now that everyone's been getting their vaccinations, like I'm, mm-hmm. I'm one of the, like, I think myself and Kate are the last two to get fully vaccinated. I got my last shot. So my, my fully vaccinated date is actually a week from today. Awesome. And then that's Kate, great. I, and yeah. And then, then Kate, I think will be like a week later. And so what we want to do is we want to, you know, get together again and like really work on these songs in person. Now, Oubliette lives in, in New York. So it's, it's harder that's for right. us to get all of all five of us together. Cause we have four of us on the West coast, one of us on the East coast, Right. but we want to try to record all together uh, for this next record that we want to do. 
uh, the, the last record we did, we had to do it really piecemeal. Um, and a lot of that was because of just our logistics, uh, uh-huh. you know, but we, we kind of made a, a decision that as a band, we wanted to make sure that this next recording would be all done together in one spot. So there's, con- we're, we're considering going to where Oubliette lives in New York to record oh. out there. There's a really, really great studio out there that we might try to do uh, the recording that um, there's also the possibility that she might come to us and then we might just record out here in the West coast as well. Um, oh. But you know, th- there's, uh, there's goods and bads to either one. Yeah, of them, so. for sure. Yeah. When you guys do let me know, I'd love to have the band back on and I will give you on, on a little secret that I, that no one really knows, but when you guys are on the podcast, I think it was back in like December maybe or January. I forgot when, whenever it was, I don't remember, but my microphone didn't work for a good 10 minutes. Oh. <laughs> and so, so Whoa. I actually, went, I actually went in there. I was talking, but for some reason it wasn't working. I think the guest I had on had, was having a storm and it messed up my Wi-Fi. I don't know, but I went in and pieced. I made up other things and plugged it in to, to, to make it sound like I was there. Nice. I was there. But, nice. So the secret's out and there, but I, I made it sound, I made it sound good. So I was like, what? Yeah. No, this can't happen. I was so frustrated with it, but wasn't anyone's fault. But you, you threw fault. some voodoo magic on that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> made, made it work. The magic and the power <laughs> of editing. You know, He's exactly right. Exactly. Now, 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 I don't edit at all because I just say screw it. I mean, I just record it, play it, then I upload it to YouTube and everything, and done editing. There if you I go. do a bad job, I do a bad job. The, yeah. the show goes on. Is there anything else, Andy, that you wanted to say? about um anything that you're doing um that maybe we didn't ask or something that you want to put out there before we end the show uh just you know I, i'd love for everyone to just at least go check out the record label you know you can go to sell the heart records.com and there's links to everything there um you can go to our band camp we have a web store that's separate from band camp um one of the things that i really encourage people to check out is we actually have a vinyl subscription option where yeah. you can sign up and you get basically the best price that you could get all of our records at. It's just that you're paying for all of them up front and you get all of them throughout the year. Um, and they'll be, and that includes shipping. So that's an option. Um, the podcast, you know, I'm always looking for people to try to give it a listen. So you can find it on, you know, Apple podcasts, you can app it on uh, Spotify, Stitcher. And then I also do video of them as well. So you can find it on our YouTube channel. So I'd love for people to come and check out the YouTube channel, subscribe to that. Uh, that's also where all the bands music videos are hosted as well. Um, as far as Tsunami Bomb goes, you know, there's stuff coming down the pike. So, you know, please, you know, pay attention for when that comes out. Uh, we will have new music coming out, hopefully by early next year. It probably won't be out this year, but ideally sometime early next year with a brand new, uh, either an EP or a full length. Um, and then just, yeah, I mean, you know, I'd love for people to pick up the records from Sell the Heart Records and support the label any way they buy can. Buy a shirt. Buy a shirt. Yeah, buy a shirt. I mean, buy a shirt, subscribe, well, comment, yeah, all something, of that. <laughs> something I really want to point out too is like, you know, people are sometimes, um, not sure of ways that they can support bands or artists or, or podcasts or, or anyone doing creative endeavors. Uh-huh. Simple things like sharing, liking, commenting. Yeah. Yes, that stuff. Yes, sir. It's huge. It's, it's more valuable than I think people give it credit for. So it's, it's currency. It's, it's currency, totally maybe. Current. And if, if, if you don't have like the extra bucks to spend on a record, then just comment or leave a mark, leave a comment or share, share the post or like do that. Yeah. I'm telling you people yes. will love you for that. So consider that. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love when people share my stuff. I'm like, yeah, right on. It's, yeah. it's cool. You know, it's, it's absolutely cool. Um, I want to thank you for uh, Andy, for being on the show. Los, I want to thank you for being a co-host on the show and everyone also please go check out Malco cast. It's, the guys of Malcontent plus Los, they have a really uh, news kind of newsworthy uh, podcast. I was on the podcast with Ava uh, recently on YouTube. It was really really fun. So, a lot of fun. Yeah, we had, we had a lot of laughs on there, and I got made fun of a lot, which I love. So that's okay. <laughs> I, I don't want you guys. What, what were you gonna say? I said before we go, um, uh, wanted to ask you guys if you guys had any shout outs to give out. Yeah, everyone that's been on my show and everyone that's gonna be on my show. 
<laughs> yeah, I just like give give a shout out to all the bands, you know, working with us on the label. Um, obviously to my bandmates, uh, to my wonderful wife April, and just to all my friends, you know, and everyone out there listening. Shout out to my wife too. So you know, yeah, I'm gonna, shout out to their wife. I'm gonna shout out my wife too, so I don't get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna shout out to my other wives, Anthony and Heath. <laughs> We're in this marriage. It's called the Malco Cast. So. There you go. All right. And also shout out to everybody who likes, comments, and shares on all of our things that we're doing right here. Don't go anywhere. Stay right there. Here is the outro. This is the loud spot outro by nothing short of tragic. Is this all talk with no action? No. Is this my thoughts with distraction? No. Is this what I bought that's in fashion? Or is this the loud spot with Sebastian? Yes. Does nothing short of tragic have us back again? Yes. Does everything that's good really have to end? Pin post, have to pin show, so to get more episodes, make an order, this is over. Thanks for watching our video. Okay. Don't forget to click the... Or remove that. What's going on, fellas? Wait, I like hearing myself talk, damn it. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. So that was an awesome episode we had with Andy. Um, he's, he's super cool, dude. We're happy to have him on the show. That was a fun podcast. We ever played two of his bands. And now we have the Encore. We got the Ghost Town Rebellion here. Is it just you two or is someone else joining? Mike's supposed to be joining. So okay. he, he's, he said 645, so he's got a few minutes. Yeah, he, he, oh, he, does. <laughs> he does. But yeah, yeah. Well, Sebastian's never been on time when it comes time to think. Hey, what time did you go to work this morning, Sebastian? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Dece- decides to go out on a Thursday night. Shame on him. He knows this. Uh, well. I, I went out last night. I went to the zoo. We have a new alligator zoo exhibit at the man, zoo. Man, I so cannot I stay up past 9 p.m., man. I know. I'm you out were, like a light, man. You, you, like, <laughs> we, we, we had a band meeting on Tuesday, and Jamie's like snoring in his chair. <laughs> <laughs> you call, You actually called me while he was going, while he was sleeping, I think. Yeah, he was. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I went out and saw Pig Week play last night. They're from San Antonio, metal band. I got in the mosh pit. I'm still hungover, and I'm still hurting from the mosh pit. So uh, I, I don't go mosh pitting anymore. I'm too old. No more mosh pitting for me. <laughs> no more mosh pitting. I have way too much dental work these days for these nice <laughs> that I don't want to repay for. So. Well, I wasn't going to get in, but I was videoing the band, and when I was videoing them, someone like was bumping into me because I was in the front. And I was like, you know what, screw it. I just turned off my phone and just ju- joined in. And then I th- then I felt kind of someone kind of hurt my side. And then I got out. <laughs> I got out. I was like, I'm done. <laughs> but it was it was it was it was fun. I'm not gonna lie about that. That was a blast last night. So we'll wait for uh, Mike. Right? Is that who you said? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mike should be on his way. That's awesome. Yeah, I can put these on. I can hear you guys better that way. That's all. It- it, it would be would be great, yes. <laughs> so for anyone who's watching right now, um, we are going to play their new song that just came out uh, today, right? Today, yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Just dropped. Rabbit Hole. Yes, long time coming. Long time coming. I know you've been talking oh, about no. it for like, uh, since I first started talking to you, I feel. Yeah, <laughs> It was supposed to be out this time last year, but, you know, the world uh, decided to put a pause on itself because of COVID. Well, yeah. today, today I can officially say, you guys that live out in California, California is opening back up. And oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, oh, yes. you I know got, what the, the, the sad thing about it is today, well, actually yesterday, I got flooded with requests for some of my artists. And it's like, we've already planned to do other shit but it's like god man we have to we have to entertain this one we have to entertain this one we have to entertain this one (laughs) so my bands are not happy with me right now because they're like uh, 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 i thought we uh, and it's like you know what no oc fair yeah it's everywhere at once yeah you know orange county fair hey can i uh can i request this artist and hey hey, uh this place out in anaheim and san francisco and stuff like that and i'm like uh, uh, yeah, everything. Yeah. Real. Quick, let me take offers. And roll with it. So, rabbit hole. Uh, Sharon's saying rabbit hole breed hard, breeding hard. <laughs> uh, yeah, breeding hard. 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> no one fucking likes rabbits here. 